Hey guys, today I want to share with you some CapCut tips I wish I knew when I started YouTube. I had seen plenty of tutorials on CapCut, and many were useful, but none addressed a hassle that I endured as a beginner. As you probably know, editing takes the most part of your time when creating content. For me, when I started, every one minute would take me three to four hours of editing, but with the hacks I'm gonna share with you, it took down by half the editing time. So without further ado, let's go. First thing I wanna talk about, and that I wish I knew when I started, is the order in which you have to do things. So you will have plenty of assets when editing. Voiceover, music, image, video roles, texts, transitions, effects, subtitles, and so on. And the order in which you process all these assets really matters, because some impact others, so doing it in the wrong sequence will make you redo the work twice in many cases. The most efficient methodology that I currently use is voice first, then subtitles, then roles, which is all your visual media, then all animations, including transitions and effects, then texts, then music and sound effects, and finally fine tuning. And you will see why. So always start with the voice and process your audio track to remove all the gaps and do the cuts that you want. This will be the baseline for the sequencing of your video. That's why you need to start with it. You can later use the cuts and audio peaks as landmarks for your editing. Then you want to add the subtitles, even if you don't plan on displaying them on the video. Main reason is to be able to quickly identify the segment you are in while editing. We'll talk about some subtitles hacks in the next section. After the subtitles, you can then insert your images, clips and rolls. Make sure to fill all the gaps and align them with your relevant timestamps. You can manage the different layers over here rather easily. Now you can add your effects, transitions, and animations. Suit yourself. You can either use preset animations in CapCut or make your own animation using keyframes. All you have to do is click on this diamond here and control the object position frame by frame. And the reason why we left text and music for last is that they depend on the animations and effects durations and you want to control the timing of the text display. Then you can put your sound effects. As you know by now, they also depend on the other assets. That's why we keep them till the end. And make sure you place the peak of your sound effect in the right position. And in the end, you can add your music. Once again, we left it for last because you might want to control the timing, depending on the transitions, effects, and text animations. And of course, a final fine-tuning of the whole thing. If your video is one minute long, I suggest you use this exact sequence. If your video is longer, I suggest you work with this method on one minute long segments and repeat the process. And this brings us to our next point. The timeline can very quickly become very hard to navigate with all the assets. And here is a way to always keep it clean and neat. And that's where the power of compound clips come into action. You see, when editing on the timeline, you always want to have, without needing to scroll up and down, all your audio, music or voiceover, all your image roles and the subtitles. This is gonna be very important when you want to line up your clips with the audio, which is all the way down. So what you wanna do is, every time you edit a section, you can regroup those vertical elements into a compound clip. For this example, let's put lots of images, stickers, text, as you can see, it can quickly become overloaded with elements. Create compound clip, and the height of the timeline lets you visualize all your assets in a single view. Another good thing about compound clips is it allows you to animate the whole screen, including the text. For example, here without a compound clip, the text and stickers can't be animated. And here with a compound clip, the whole screen can be animated. If you ever need to re-edit that part, all you have to do is undo the compound clip make your edit, and recompound the clip. And keep doing that in all your sections. Last hack I want to share is about the subtitles. First thing to watch out for is the auto captions. You need to control the words caption by caption. CapCut makes some mistakes. You also want to spread them all over the timeline. CapCut will sometimes leave these gaps. You can then go to the caption section. If you want, for example, just one word at a time, you'll have to do it manually by pressing enter. Once you do that, you can customize them. You can set a standard style for your video with this apply to all checkmark. Then go and customize specific ones if you want. Don't forget to uncheck apply to all. This way you can have custom subtitles you can easily export in the SRT extension file when uploading to YouTube. That was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. There are still many guides coming up. Your comment is most welcome. And feel free to subscribe for more content. Cheers.